One of Raleigh, North Carolina's hottest suburbs is the town of Wake Forest. If moving to Wake Forest and buying a new home is on your radar, or if you just happen to be one of the many current residents of the town of Wake Forest, then you might be curious to know about some recently announced new additions about to come to town. If so, then stay tuned because in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys some of what's about to hit the Wake Forest retail and dining scene. In addition, I'll show you guys where things stand on some of the newer projects that are already underway, not only in Wake Forest, but over next door in the town of Roseville. Plus, if you're considering buying a new home, then definitely stay until the end of the video because there's where I'm gonna let you guys in on some brand new Wake Forest area new home communities that nobody knows about. Well, except for you, that is, as long as you stay to the end of the video. Hey guys, Michael Sanders here, your native Raleigh realtor at Remax United in Raleigh. If you're considering buying or selling a home in the Raleigh area, then definitely reach out. I'd love to help. Okay guys, over in Wake Forest is the massive Grove 98 development, which if you've been a follower to my channel for a while, then you know this is a massive eat, live, play concept that's currently under development right in the middle of Wake Forest. The centerpiece of which is the 100,000 square foot Wegmans grocery store. Recently opened over in the newest phase across the street from Wegmans are several retail, dining, and personal care businesses. One of which being the area's second location of Torchy's Tacos, one of only about 90 across the entire United States. Well, just recently announced over in the newest phase of Grove 98 are several new dining options that you may or you may not be familiar with. One that you're probably at least a little familiar with is Five Guys Burgers and Fries. Up until only recently, if you wanted a decent burger or you couldn't find one here in Wake Forest, you had to travel at least 20 to 30 minutes into Raleigh. But over the last several years, quite a few decent burger restaurants have come to town. You've got Culver's over on Rogers Road, which is also a really great place to get desserts. Or the recently opened Wayback Burgers. There's also Char Grill up on Capitol Boulevard near Youngsville, which is totally amazing. As a matter of fact, speaking of Char Grill, there's about to be a second location that's gonna be over in the Crenshaw Corner Shopping Center off NC 98. Also recently announced over in Grove 98 is Piatta Italian Street Food. Piatta's big thing is that each restaurant is run by a chef, not a manager, who is gonna personally greet you on your way in and who's gonna prepare your food directly from scratch. According to their website, one of their more popular options is known as the Piata Wrap, which is described as a sort of cross between a pita bread wrap and a Mexican flour tortilla. In addition to Piata, Bibi Bop Asian Grill is coming over to Grove 98. Bibi Bop is described as providing high quality, unprocessed food at affordable pricing. Another announcement over at Grove 98 is the area's second first watch location. I've been to the existing First Watch over in Wake Forest off Rogers Road a couple of times for breakfast. It's a breakfast chain that's always been packed every time I've been over there. Okay, if you happen to miss my previous Wake Forest update video, you're definitely gonna to wanna to know about Dave's Hot Chicken. There's a ton of buzz going on right now in the town of Wake Forest in anticipation of its Wake Forest arrival. Hey guys, please do me a monumental favor and click the like button below. It would really help me and my channel get my videos out to a wider audience who's looking for the same content that you are. Okay guys, in addition to these recent announcements that are going on, work is continuing on several huge developments going on over in and around Wake Forest right now. In downtown Wake Forest, work is well underway on the Wake Forest Food Hall. Plans for this place sound pretty awesome. Over here, you're gonna find indoor and outdoor food and beverage options, and special events are gonna be put on over here. There's also gonna be an outdoor amenities area and a super cool rooftop space overlooking all of downtown Wake Forest. Over in the Heritage Wake Forest area is the brand new Wheatfield Plaza Shopping Center that's directly across from Heritage High School. Ever since getting going last year, this place has taken off with a vengeance. There's some new restaurants over here that have opened up recently, like Cape Fear Seafood Company and the incredibly popular Black Beer Brewery. During spring and summer, this place is packed, especially when they have live music going on on the outdoor patio area. This Wake Forest destination is so incredibly popular that now there are plans for an additional three buildings with over 25,000 square feet of additional square footage it's gonna be directly across the street from the current location. 
Next door in the town of Rose will work as well underway on the Cobblestone Village Mixed Use Center, which is set to completely transform and revitalize the downtown Roseville Business District. Over here, we can see construction continuing on what will eventually be 178 apartments, 50,000 square feet of retail space, and a town municipal building. Just a couple of minutes from Cobblestone Village, land clearing is well underway on a brand new community that's being built by D.R. Horton called Presley. The thing that I like most about Presley is the fact that it's literally right in the center between downtown Roseville and downtown Wake Forest. However, this area is going to have somewhat of a rural feel about it, even though you're less than 15 minutes from most of the major shopping in both Wake Forest and Roseville. From this location, you're only going to be about 10 minutes or less from the future Walbrook Marketplace, where work is well underway on nearly 70,000 square feet of shopping that's going to contain Rosal's very first public grocery store, along with a slew of new retail and dining options. Okay, I get quite a few calls from investors who are looking for some really good investment opportunities in the area. Which, if you're one of these people, then you know that it's been pretty difficult recently finding any good cash flowing opportunities. Well, I wanted to give you guys a quick heads up in an area that I feel is ripe for investment potential right now. Over in Northeast Raleigh, literally about halfway between Wake Forest and North Raleigh, land is currently being cleared for a 160 unit townhome development that's going to be called Forestville Crossing, built by Taylor Morrison. There haven't been any developments over in this area in quite a while. As a matter of fact, the last development that came online over here was the Longleaf Estates community that sold out a couple of years ago. With this location being so convenient to not only US Highway 401, but also the nearest interchange to US I-540, and the northern campus of the Wake Technical Community College being within 10 to 12 minutes south of here, this area's investment potential is going to be really nice, both for medium-term investments and longer term. Okay, if you're one of the many people who contacted me over the last year or so hoping to find a luxury property, then you know up until this point there really hasn't been a whole lot of luxury home inventory available, both in the North Raleigh and the Wake Forest areas. Right now, there are a couple of new opportunities that are available or soon to be available, some of which are in some really prime areas of Wake Forest. The first of which is in one of my all-time favorite Wake Forest locations, Prescott Manor, where Phase 3 is currently underway that's going to consist of around 25 additional home sites. If you're someone who's searching for an incredible home site with lots of heavily wooded acreage that's inside of the Falls Lake watershed, and you're only going to be about 10 minutes from downtown Wake Forest shopping, and 30 minutes to RDU and RTP, then I really can't think of a better place to call home. Another great location that's probably going to be breaking ground pretty soon is the community of Sorrel Oaks, which is north of downtown Wake Forest. The Sorrel Oaks luxury community is going to consist of around 93 large wooded home sites that's going to be within 10 minutes of the downtown Wake Forest business district. Pricing on both Prescott Manor and Sorrel Oaks haven't yet been announced, but based on the overall North Raleigh and Wake Forest luxury home market right now, I'm going to go out on a limb and predict that pricing on these homes is probably going to range somewhere between the $1.5 million and $2.3 million range. Hey guys, if you're considering a move to the Raleigh, Wake Forest, or the overall Triangle area, then definitely give me a call, shoot me an email or text. I've helped tons of people just like yourself relocate to the Raleigh area. Don't make a mistake when relocating to the Raleigh area. Make the smart move. Get Mike and get moved.